get it one BH that here. Now, if you own a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, you'll notice that on the keyboard, the function key and the control key are swapped around. Now, you can swap these two around because I know for a lot of my clients and myself, uh, I find that I'm always hitting the very end for the control key. That's where most keyboards are and you can actually swap this around in the BIOS and also in the software. Now I have done this tutorial on the X1 Carbon 6th generation and I'll put a link in the description below if you've got a 6th generation so you can actually check that one out but I thought I might update the tutorial for the 7th generation because the BIOS has changed. Now the software has still stuck the same so if you have the 6th generation you can do it for the software. Check the second part of this video for that. Now the first thing you need to do is have the computer turned off. So once it's in the off state, you can then turn it on. When it is turning on, press enter. That will then launch into its interrupt menu. Now you need to click, press F1 to enter the BIOS. Just give it a wait for a little bit for as it boots into BIOS. Once you are in BIOS, click on configure and then in configure and the third option is keyboard and mouse click on that one there and on the third option you will see function and key control key swap turn that on and then that will swap those two keys around now since we're in BIOS I might as well show you another extra little bit as well that you need to take note of and that is the Thunderbolt 3 options so in the Thunderbolt 3 options if you have a Thunderbolt device plugged into your Thunderbolt on the port there and you sometimes you hear it detect but you actually can't use it now more than likely is because there are security built into the Thunderbolt now for military and probably for businesses that actually do require this secure to authorize each Thunderbolt device that's great leave that on but if you find this bit of annoyance you can't you have to actually go to the software and actually in Windows it's called the Thunderbolt free software and you'll actually then have to authorize each device that actually gets plugged in but if you find that a bit of annoyance you can actually turn that feature off now to turn that feature off at the moment you can see this is all disabled what you need to do is go to security then go to virtualization in the virtualization there's the kernel dma protection you can turn that off go yes go back to configure and go to Thunderbolt 3 and then this will now enable that option now and pretty much you can either see has author, user authorization you can actually change that that's through means through software and you can as a few options there which is secure connect display port and USB only um, most of the time it's easy just to go to no security and then press F10 to save and that will make it a lot easier for you let's look at the software way of doing it so in Windows if your Lenovo should be already installed with the keyboard drivers and software if not go to the Lenovo website and just install the keyboard software for it it should be only one of them if not then the other way is to actually go to the system update and then install the software through that way there so what you need to go is go to the control panel in the control panel you'll see one called Lenovo keyboard manager select that open that up and once that is opened up you can see on the last tab here is the function key and control key swap so click on that and then you can then at the moment we have it already turned on from the BIOS but that it would normally be off there so you can then change that back to on and that will then swap those two function key and control key there really easy for you to do and then click on close and that's about it and that is done so if you find this video informative give it a like and if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting I'll see you next video